Hey, it's the basic architect. We were at a job site yesterday out here. I'm still up here in Norway, but uh, this tray tech is a prefab um, factory uh, location here that we're getting the opportunity to visit this morning. We saw these, these they were making all the exterior partition walls for that CLT project and we're gonna get the opportunity to uh, come in here. You can see there's uh, some of the walls there with Seagam eye vest and rain screen windows installed and that one's getting ready to go out. You can see they have a little garage door there so they can slide panels out onto a set of rollers and then pick them up and put them on a truck. But uh, we are getting a tour of the facility here and you can see all of their lumber I believe it gets cut in the other room. We're going to check it out. We're not necessarily in order here, but uh, see all the lumber there gets tagged on these carts and pre-cut. Right. must say, it's some beautiful lumber they're using. <coughs> and then they have one of their fabrication tables here. There. You see the gent there putting it together. And again, that's all 2 by 8 24 inch in center framing. Check it out. They have a notch here, I'm assuming. That's for a header. And you can see as we go down the line, things just simply get added. So it's all rough framing here. And then as we move down, you see here, this is a finished pimp and uh, has all of the lumber. Actually, this might be the bottom of the window because that looks like it's set up for a top plate on the edge there. But like we talked about at many of the job sites here, they use a lot of exterior gypsum board and you can see it. It's all right here. This is all half inch, maybe three eighths. It's uh, pretty light. And you can see the gentleman here, he's got his cutter and machine there. I'm assuming that's some kind of lift because it's on a bar, yeah. So you can just grab that piece, take it over, and slide it down attach it here so, and then it all gets attached and then moving down the line you can see here this one is pretty much all sheathed come down here <coughs> and it gets the final <coughs> Sega my vest on the full panel and then if you're not familiar this is some of their tape we glove um, sit here we'll do a little test I mean this stuff is highly aggressive you're not, you're not pulling that off and uh, they, you can see there's a little sag there, so they just fill right in over the window and roll it out there. And then they can do some final taping down there. But it's a pretty simple process. And they have these large overhead cranes where they can pick it up. from the table and put it on the rollers here vertically so the panel now goes 
to a vertical orientation. And uh, here, you can see it gets its rain screen and strapping. The windows get installed and yeah, their window system, it's a fully adhered um, weather barrier system. So there's no management there. Take a peek in here, you can see they have a bunch of insulation. He's cutting it there. And the windows get installed. And then, of course, a bunch of the insulation gets installed. And these panels just simply move on down the line. You can see up here what it's getting. Is this is getting the poly on the inside. So for their vapor barrier here, they use it appears to be about a six mil poly. So and they're starting to put some of the strap in around the windows and such. So it literally is a uh, an assembly line where these panels just basically you can see there's this kind of trust channel system where they attach the walls and the walls basically slide down this rail system all the way to that back wall back there so no, quite simple we just walked down the line here so it gets framed and then it gets the Sega gets lifted up there and then a bunch of the vertical treatment inside and out so insulation green screen comes down here gets some poly and then down here and see this one. See this is where they store all of their materials. Their Sega Wiglow tape. Pretty minimal waste here. And then like I said that rolls down and gets picked up and you can see the whole back side of that is insulated and polyed. And then we have a whole stack of walls down at the end there that are ready to go outside, get uh, covered up. And actually probably get covered up right there and then uh, get loaded onto the truck. So, told you we might be a little out of order, but if we come over here, this is uh, basically a lumber yard. So, not a lot, whole lot of magic happening here. You can see just a whole bunch of their two-by material comes in. Absolutely gorgeous material, if I might say. Let's see if we can get on to the end here. And, uh, you'll see what I mean. None of that stuff is twisted or warped, really. Just beautiful stuff. Giant cutting station. He's actually cutting floor joists there. Or the floor assembly. But all of their cutting. A nice long table there. Do some cutting. Anyways. Not a whole lot of magic. Steve Basic Architect. Yeah, we're down here at a wall panelization point. Long live our buildings.